2014 presented to you by Marvel Contest of Champions from Kabam. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M. My name is Ben Morris. I'm the editor of Marvel.com, and we have with us, continuing our parade of international guests, our good friend from across the ocean, Valerio Skitty. Worked Hi. on New Avengers recently, yes. Guardians of the Galaxy upcoming. Yeah, now Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Welcome to the, the show. Thank you so much. We had Valerio on a This Week in Marvel podcast not long ago, uh, and going into it, he sent repeated emails saying, this is not my first language, I can't do a <laughs> podcast, I can't do this. Then brilliantly and clearly spoke to us for a good half hour. People love the podcast. Yeah. And now just before we went on, goes, oh, I've never been on camera before, blah, blah, blah. Yes. But I don't believe you anymore. This time I will fail for you. No, <laughs> you're going to be great. <laughs> but we're very excited to have you here. You told me this is your, only your second time coming to New York. Yes, it's my and second time. And this year was your first time. This year is uh, my first uh, New York Comic Con. What do you think of New York Comic Con so far? Uh, it's awesome. It's yeah? very, uh, it's impressive. It's amazing. And it's the first day. Yeah, it's right? Be, yeah. There's a so, lot, yeah, there's a ton very, of people here. It's I, great. I love hearing about conventions in other countries, like you go to Spain or France mm -hmm. or Italy or wherever, and they have different ways of doing things. Like, I yep. think C.B. Zabolski, I believe, told me about one uh, convention that's set in a, just the whole town yes. is taken over. It's Luca in Italy. Luca, yes. Right. Yeah, I met him here. What's it's, that? It's, uh, I met uh, C.B. Sobowski here, there, in oh, Luca. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, my and first contact with uh, Marvel. <laughs> it sounded so cool. Like, everybody hangs out, and you drink, yeah. and you eat, and you, you draw, amazing. and you talk, and it's, yeah. it sounded really neat. It's so this a, is kind of uh, different. Yes, it's a, it's a small medieval, uh, medieval town. Mm -hmm. And uh, all across the, uh, the, the town, in the squares, there are uh, the, 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 the pavilions with uh, the comics. And you can drink outside and meet people. Uh, it's, it's very cool. Yeah. Uh, if there are any convention promoters from the Luca show who are <laughs> watching, yeah. I would love to be uh, yeah. a guest. All right, so pull, pulling there. the segment away from Ryan yeah. and back to <laughs> okay. talking about Valerio, uh, this is your first First time here, first time at the convention. How are, how are the fans receiving you so far? Have you gotten a chance to kind of walk around? Because I, this is your first kind of like high profile no, I, I, convention. I haven't the chance to walk okay. around the, the, the hall here. I just stand in the, Hey, Marvelites, it's Lorraine Singh, host and writer of Marvel. Doing a couple of sketches for the, for the fans. Who have you sketched and, so far? Uh, of course, Lady Sif, <laughs> from Journey to Mystery. And uh, some Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, Doctor Doom, New Avengers, yeah. uh, is helping yeah. me a lot with uh, serious characters. Very right? serious. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, it's cool for me because, uh, as I told you, now I had the chance to talk with my fans. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in another country, so it's, it's difficult for me to have the, the contact with the audience, with the, with the readers. And uh, to come here in New York, uh, it's good for me because I can finally meet them <laughs> and yeah. talk with them. Uh, bad, but, but no, I you're doing great. Uh, it's a joke. Uh, no, no, all right, all right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Very funny. So you're going to joke. Ah, my English is bad. Uh, <laughs> poor me, poor, poor guy. <laughs> so I can do be be even be worse English, uh, like the, this way. You're doing, you're doing good okay. so far. So Thank far, you. so good. Yeah, uh, if you guys are watching, good. you have tweets for us. Use the hashtag MarvelNYCC. Uh, the Asgardian Angel uh, has just returned watching and says, what, what, do you, what inspires you when you're drawing something like Guardians of the Galaxy, which is big and Ah, it's amazing. Book. Uh, the first thing, maybe, it's, uh, it's simple. is the, the script. Mm -hmm. uh, I, Brian Bendis, it's the, the writer of the series, of course. And everybody knows he is a great, art, a great uh, writer. Uh, so its script is full of uh, suggestion of uh, uh, hints for the for the, the artist and it makes me move the, the, the first step to, to, to imagine the world of the guardians mm -hmm. so you can uh, you told something like uh, hey, you can draw uh, a couple of uh, aliens in background uh, arguing uh, each other or this, this or maybe something like uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the worst bar in the galaxy with the worst people there so imagine aliens uh, fighting each other so yeah. he, he helps a lot to and then I, I don't know I of course the other comics are very inspiring for me the other artists and the movie too yeah. I'm a great movie fan so the, the movie and the TV series of course are a big uh, source of inspiration for me yeah. cool um, we've got more coming in. Michael WS wants to know what's your creative process like? Are you digital, traditional? I'm digital, 100% digital oh, at the moment okay. for, the, for the pages. I just do a traditional way the, the, the covers. of the when, when I do some covers, I do it a uh, traditional way. And uh, 
Usually I do some scrabble, some doodle, uh, on directly on the pages of the script. And uh, from uh, that moment on, uh, it's all digital. From the layouts to the, the, the pencils, if we can, if we can call <laughs> pencil the, the digital ones, and, uh, and then the inks too. I do uh, just the black and white stuff, no colors. I'm like cool. a dog. I can <laughs> see the world just in black and white. Uh, <laughs> so. DJ Fanko says, uh, great to see you on Marvel New York Comic Con. Thank you. Uh, he continue, you continue the long line of artists whose style reflect their presence. Hmm. Hashtag cool. Thank so you. That's <laughs> that's right. Right. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah it's very it's cool. Good. Uh, Robert, RCS underscore T says, your work is amazing. What Thank character you. would you love to start drawing? Ah, new car, uh, different one. Let's say the, someone you haven't done before. Of course, Spider Man. I Spider Man. I, no. I love Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> Have you met Nick Lowe? Yeah. I've Have met you met him. Dan Sly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Make so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last we time had, in New York, I met Nick Lowe. Yeah. Although we, we had speak a, a great Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, we had we just had Giuseppe Camoncoli on before uh -huh. and Umberto Ramos, so those are the no, two guys okay. you got to bump off. Yeah, yeah. So you can get on Spider Man. Okay, perfect. I feel like yeah, Giuseppe's got to be at least. Close enough. But, that, but I love their comics, so I, I can't. I, 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 it's hard. I can't, I can't bump them. The heart versus the head. <laughs> okay. uh, Lucas Ackerman wants to know which of the Guardians is your favorite to draw. At the moment, uh, I think it's Gamora. Mm. Mm. I, uh, that makes sense. I just drew uh, an amazing, uh, for me, amazing. <laughs> of course, I don't know if the, an amazing fighting sequence mm -hmm. uh, between Gamora and another character that I won't say. <laughs> and it was very funny, so I fell in love with Gamora. Yeah. Gamora is definitely, for me, the new Lady Sif. <laughs> I was going to say, coming from, you know, you, you broke into Marvel working on Journey into Mystery, you got so used to drawing Sif. Do you gravitate to characters like Gamora, you know, other yep. kind of strong female characters? Yep. Like, that, that's who you instantly go to? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's no, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just that's right. Sometimes that's the answer. Yeah, Sometimes know. that's the answer. Okay. How far in drawing Guardians are you? How many? How many have you done so far? I did uh, just uh, six pages of okay. the Guardians of the Galaxy number twenty okay. and the uh, whole number twenty-one. It's already finished. What's the most challenging thing uh, Brian's asked of you so far? Uh, I suppose that uh, the the the, fight, the fighting uh, mm -hmm. scene that I was talking before uh, it was very hard for me because uh, it's long and it, and it had to be cool. Yeah. Because sure. uh, I can't tell <laughs> very much about that. But, no, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> but it was very challenging for me yeah. because we show uh, lots of uh, fighting poses, mm -hmm. uh, new weapons. So yeah. it was uh, it was hard. It was very hard, but it was also uh, cool. Cool. Guys, get a few more questions in for Valeria. Use the hashtag MarvelNYCC. And also for all our upcoming guests, you can see all our upcoming guests at marvel.com slash NYCC2014. Uh, but let's get a few more in for Valeria before yeah. we uh, go. Comic Book Bros want to know, uh, for a young aspiring artist, what is the best strategy on how to break into comics? Uh, I don't know what's the best strategy, actually. I, I did... Um, I took a class mm -hmm. in Rome, and, uh, and then I did a, a portfolio of my work, and I showed uh, my portfolio at a convention, like I said, mm -hmm. Luca, but you can do it even here. Uh, and the most important thing, maybe, for be a good, uh, good, uh, good artist, of course, uh, is practicing, of course, but uh, the most important thing is to read comics, mm -hmm. a lot of comic books. It mm, seems strange, that I have to say something like that, <laughs> but sometimes uh, uh, you have to tell this to the youngest uh, artist because uh, they mm, they don't like to read different stuff, different kind of comics from all around the world, from Japan, from Italy, from France. From uh, uh, this is the most important thing because there are a lot of uh, amazing, great artists around. Yeah. Uh, you can learn a lot from them, yeah. uh, and it's inspiring. So Wise words. Yeah. Valerio, right. thank you so much for coming on. Thank really you like chatting for this with interview. You. Thank you. Guys, we're going to be back with Zach Oat from Diamond Select. See you on the other side of this break. And I have encountered these two wonderful.